Well, welcome back. We are live here at the birthplace of Country Music Museum in downtown Bristol. We've moved locations again. You have to come check out the Tennessee Ernie Ford exhibit. It is incredible, all kinds of really cool artifacts. But we're switching gears right now. We want to talk a little bit about Orthophonic Joy. Of course, this CD was released back in May. It's been out about seven months now. It kind of revisits the 1927 Bristol Sessions. And we've got Charlene here with us now. They're also making a documentary, as we talked about earlier. We've got the director of the documentary here with us as well. And Charlene, this has just been an incredible project. It's been a great project. You know, it wouldn't have happened without the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development and Virginia. Um, is for lovers because they came together with the birthplace of country music and financed the project and they're also fi financing the documentary that's being shot over two weeks very quickly <laughs> with uh, Chusey Jardine who is a Sundance award-winning director and we are we just we're over the moon over the whole crew they're amazing people they're artists and they're really treating this project with a lot of respect, which was very important, I think, to everyone. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like the feeling is mutual because you said you kind of came into this not knowing, and now you've fallen in love with the area and the music and the heart. Oh, absolutely. I, I joke that sometimes uh, I'm more Southern than most people here from the South because I'm from Venezuela, uh -huh. Latin America, and uh, I knew nothing really about this music. And now that I've made the film, I'm, I'm in the process of making it, I fall in love with the area, the people, the, the, and the music suddenly became transcendental for me. It had mm. some some sort of like resonance, you know, from its origins to how it's articulated today. I've become very excited about the music. I just love it. I love it. It's funny. And I'm a country music star. I'm a fan now. <laughs> Can't get enough now. And that's what happens to so many people, I think, when they really start to let it in. It yeah. just kind of overflows. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, again, like you said, it's like you have an expectation that country music is going to be some sort of like simplistic version of life, and all of a sudden it's very profound and very yeah. complicated, and it, and it touches everyone. So I love it. And you guys are all over the area, kind of recreating some history. Yeah, we're, uh, we're in period costumes, vintage cars, mm -hmm. running around uh, Tennessee, Virginia, and you know, around Bristol, of course, recreating the entire 1927 Bristol Sessions uh. from the Carter family, Jimmy Rogers, the recording in, in, in the Hat Factory, um, the hard times, the good times. It's all going to be in this movie. And it is going to be so exciting to see this movie come out. And I know it's something that you guys, you're seeing pictures every day of the shooting and what's going on and, and just incredible. It's been a really, you know, just ever since the project came about, I think that everyone really was passionate about bringing a new voice and a new face to those songs that are so timeless. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's the human condition, you know, the, all of the things that they sing about back then are very transcendental to today. So, you know, we, we can see this film and see it all put together with the interviews that uh, Plan A has already shot when the artists like Dolly Parton and Vince Gill and those guys yeah. were in the studio. I mean, these guys have been with us since, you know, they were in the studio recording the songs. So they got to speak with a lot of those artists and when you hear their story and their translation of the Bristol Sessions and how it has touched their careers, mm. I believe that it'll show you, you know, just how impactful you know, the Big Bang of Country Music yeah. is still making an impact. So we're very proud of that. And this museum is a, a living tri tribute to that daily. So we really hope people will come and explore this story and know how important it is to American music history, well, history in general, I mean, internationally. And real quick, because we're almost out of time, but tell us about a big event coming up this weekend that sort of coincides. It does. You know, Saturday there's a fundraiser for our radio station, WBCM Radio Bristol, um, and it's for and the Church Sisters who are on the album uh, will be performing at Bluff City Middle School with Bill and the Bells, who you know Chris Trulson's yeah. one of our radio personalities, and you can hear him in the mornings. And um, all of that is happening Saturday, and everything's on our website at birthplaceofcountrymusic.org. All right, you can also find the latest information on the documentary as well. Chusey, we thank you so much for joining us today. Thank Best you. of luck. Cannot wait to see it. We're back with more of Daytime right after this.